Swole Benji here. I wanted to show you a mob that's great for you to solo farm if you can't get into those big beefy Merc Guard groups because either your server died or you just hate Merc Guard or you don't feel like zerging and you just want to smash some mobs while you watch YouTube videos and that's fine. So today's spot is right here in Eden Grove. You're going to take the fast travel point which is called Blighted Shrine. And then you're going to run all the way through this little path here. Make a little campfire right around here. Okay, then you're going to take this little inner path. Go all the way around here. Up the mountains. There's no shortcuts, sadly. And once you get to this area, you're going to go right in here. And there is a shrine. And in this shrine area, there is a level 62 rare boss mob and two chests. So all you, all you got to do is you can kill this guy. And because he is level 62 and a rare, he will almost always drop an item. And this item will eventually boost your watermark gear score up to about level 560. It's either level 562 or 565. But just get your watermark uh, up to 560 on this guy. He respawns in every minute. He's pretty easy to kill. I am a, I am a zero. I have almost no constitution. All focus. I'm using life staff and a great axe. These guys are weak to slash damage and fire. So I have an axe, so that's slash damage, and I'm just gonna go up and start hacking away. So here we go. You can see that I don't do too much damage because I'm a full heal build, but I do enough damage. And he does chunk you pretty hard, but you just switch to your life staff, hit him with your spells, and look at my health, it goes right back up. Very simple, I can stand in all of his attacks. I don't even have to try to fight him. And uh, you could, you know, be a glass cannon fire staff too. And like I said, this guy does no damage. I mean, okay, he does damage, but because we're a, a life staff of build, he can't kill us, ever. Look at my health, it just goes right back up, okay? And if you want, you can play properly. I did miss my beacon there, that's a little scary, but that's okay. Because I can just cast this at my feet, and uh, yeah, simple as. I hate that I can't see my abilities, that's a stupid bug. So I'm gonna press tab and then press tab again to make that go away. And then you just kill this guy every minute. It's uh, it's pretty simple. If I was a full strength build, this guy would die so much faster. So you can respec if you want, but what do we get? We got a Dryad Kite Shield of the Barbarian. So, um, looks like my gear score for shields isn't that high right now. But, um, yeah, now while we wait, I can just heal myself up. I don't, I don't even have food buff activated. Uh, loot the two chests. You can loot these chests every hour. They also have similar gear score boosting properties. Uh, also, you get the tier 5 materials, which is really nice. I want to see what my gear score watermark is for hammers there. And then what do we else do we get? We got... Ooh! We got two uh, recipes. Look at that. We got a mahogany dresser and a log table. Very cool. You can get these every hour. So you just say... If you just want to chill here all day, you can get a bunch of these. Alright, and then like I said, he respawns every one minute. And then you just fight him. <laughs> Tree stomp table. Very cool. I don't ha I don't own, own any houses. People really hated my house videos, so better not talk about it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so you just kill this guy. Now, if you're busy fighting, there is an archer that may aggro from time to time, and that's fine. Okay, yeah, that actually kind of hurts a bit, but I do have lifesteal, and you could dodge those if you want to actually be a good gamer, you know. I was just wanting to show you the first time around, you don't have to dodge if you're a healer. You can stand in every attack with no constitution and be completely fine. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, if you have full strength, you will kill this guy very quickly, and your strength will be so high that your life leech will sustain you. I have a build on my channel that fully explains uh, how that works. And I'm just doing heavy attacks here. I'm actually going to switch because I'm getting a little worried. Dodge the poison. Hit him with the beacon. We don't even need sacred ground, honestly. And if you want, you can just kill him with your life staff. I can just shoot him with life staff bullets or spells or whatever you want to call it. All right, and let's see. He did not drop anything that time, but because he is a rare monster, he does drop things the majority of the time. It's actually very rare to see him not drop anything. But we can kill him a few more times, you know. Uh, video needs to be... I, I know a lot of people gripe that a vi the video sh could be shorter, and that is true. However, YouTube likes its 8-minute duration videos, so that's what we do. Now, if you want, you could just come kill this archer. It's just a regular level 60 archer. If you want, you don't have to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it to pass the time a bit. Uh, just note that they can be a little painful and knock you around. 
Also, you don't have to fight your way upstairs. Ooh, we got a suspended days off. And I'm being poisoned and dying. So let's just heal real quick. Still no food buff. Don't need it. Don't want it. Let's just, uh, yep, get that fully healed. And being a healer in this game is just so overpowered. So what I like to do is I like to sneak through the camp and go through the back here. And then once you're behind the building, you can just climb up this little ledge. All right, and then you can just pull yourself up here like a true Chad, and then there you go. This guy is just on his knees praying to his tree god, and we just come in and just ruin his day, just smash him up, hack him up. And wow, I glitched out pretty hard there. Let's get our heals down. It gets a little scary sometimes, especially if they crit. So I hit for how much? He's at a shield up right now, so that's why I'm not hitting so hard. Yeah, he's got nature resistance, actually, so we don't want to use our nature staff. He will spawn with a random resistance, uh, so be aware of that. There we go. So, hitting him with our nature staff... I'm sorry, our Albion habits, guys. Our life staff does not do a lot of damage, so we actually need to be using our axe here. This is why you want to uh, be multi-classed in different weapons. Let's hit him with this so we can get our fortify. Hit him with some heavies. So we can get our fortify. And look at that. He only did 1,700 when we have all our fortify buffs up. Very nice. There we go. And we'll just take him out. This, he's taking longer to kill because he's nature resistant. And all my my weapons do half nature, okay? Look at that. Because we're in the middle of doing a heavy attack, we have that 20% damage reduction. So, And he can't really interrupt us unless he catches us in between. So, Very nice. And get that for the 10% fortify. Let's go ahead and hit ourselves with the Sacred Ground. So I rebound my cast on self key to alt, which I've covered in a video before. So I just hold alt and I tap F and I will cast Sacred Ground perfectly in the middle of wherever I'm standing. All right, there we go. He, ooh, and look at that, a purple and a Firefox drop. Very nice, not the web browser. So not only that, but you get these things for tuning orbs. Very nice. Uh, we have the kite shield that's 500, and it looks like neither of these boosted the gear score. This one is, didn't boost the gear score either, which kind of sucks for the video, but uh, this every time that you fail to get your gear score boosted through a drop, the next time will be an even higher chance, okay? Uh, so yeah, if you want, this is a good source of repair parts, it's a good source of Azoth, and uh, like I said, tuning orb materials every minute. If you just want to camp a mob and be lazy all day, like you don't want to go explore or play with people, you're just by yourself and you just want to hack down a mob or blow them up with magic, then this is where you would go up to gear score 560 right here in Eden Grove, right down here. Anyway, guys, that's the video. I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. If you leave a like and a comment, it is an algorithm cheat code. It is a YouTube combo. Uh, a comment is worth one point. Okay, that hurts. So, he's nature resistant again, dang it. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, if you, if you do both, it's four points, okay? That's just how the YouTube algorithm works, and I'm gonna tell you every t single time until it changes. Also, 81% of you aren't subscribed, so if you, if you hit subscribe, you'll see my videos. I make a daily video every single day. And, uh, yes, they are New World bits. Okay, that really hurt. And I aggroed the archer, so we got a little bit of trouble here. Uh, I'm not gonna end the video during this action-packed moment. We're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. Let's kill the ad first. You in MMORPGs, you always want to kill the ad because they're they're a really good source of damage. And I'm taking a lot of hits, but you can see that my life steal is uh, it's doing some work. It's doing a lot of work. I can just totally stand in that. It's fine. I have all these fortify buffs, and then here's another fortify buff. It's just so good. Look at my HP. It's just fully healed. Very nice. And he's halfway dead. Now, the thing is, you don't want to push him too far because he might de-aggro and reset and regain all of his HP. So we actually need him to come back up here so he does not do that. And my character is stuck. In the you have to dodge roll out of that, by the way, if that happens to you. I don't know why it happens. But he uh, he is not advancing on me, so that's trouble. Let's get a little closer. I'm going to cast another heal on myself. We're going to get the guy's loot, and then I'm going to end the video, okay? I'm not going to leave you hanging. But yeah, come on come on down. You can solo this guy. Just make sure you're wearing heavy armor. Make sure you're using some form of slashing weapon or fire, okay? 
And yeah, he, he ended up rolling double nature resistance, so I am killing him slower than I should be. But that's okay, he doesn't always roll nature resist. He didn't the first time we killed him. Alright, he's about, he's about to go down. I don't have execute, so this takes a little bit more time. There we go. What do we get today? Oh, we aggroed another archer. We got a Primordial Greaves of the Zealot. Let's just look at that. 534 gear score. There we go. Pretty darn good. That's about where I'm at right now because I don't do a lot of gear score stuff. A lot of watermarking things. Uh, anyway, guys, that's the video. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Come check out this place. It's almost always empty. No one ever comes here. It's a great place. You get lots of stuff. Take care.